trying to get everything adjusted here. I'm I'm walking across Hickory Ridge right now, where they um have the barricade. A closer look. Of course, I did ask a few people already questions, but one guy said he doesn't live in this particular um in this particular building. He's on the other side over there, that the one that's not roofed off. So basically. This building right here is the one that um, has all that decaying, and if you, all right, all right, what? Oh, what? Basically, am. And yeah, you see that building falling. Damn. Man, that sucks. I was looking at the building to see what's going on with it. I'm like, it looks like it's caving in. That's why they moved everybody out. Oh, that's why the news company was here yesterday. Yeah. WGA came out yesterday, I think. Yeah, I have my own YouTube channel. I'm trying to keep everybody up to date on um on the apartments and and like Maryville and um like and um and like Crown Point and everything. Yes, I live I live in Birchwood, but even we have some of the same problems going on too. You stay where? Birchwood yeah, across. Yeah. I just don't know if any if you know anybody that's over here that can ask questions too about about what's going on. Uh, I do got a, a female friend living the back. Will she be Will she be willing to be interviewed? She might. Um, um, if you if you don't mind me asking, what's your name? Anthony. I'm Rusty. Rusty. Yeah. How you doing, Rusty? And you guys uh, show me your channel too. I'm gonna go subscribe to you. Yeah, it's called RBW King. RBW King. Yep. I'm yeah, I'm trying to like basically. I I did a video the other day, like where I was out here walking, mm -hmm. but I didn't talk to anybody. But I was able to see the news out here, mm -hmm. and I and I and the video got picked. R B King. R B W King. R B W King. Yeah. If she's willing to be interviewed or anybody is, I said if you know anybody, I said I just want to ask him a few questions about about what's going on and everything like that. Which one? It's R B W King. No, D B like V, like the letter V. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing it for about five years now. I said I'm trying to I'm get. Actually, more. trying to get into that right now. Yeah, I, I saw my. I got 361 subscribers. At least at the start. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I'm trying to break a thousand. I said once I get a oh, thousand. I, see you now. I, got you. I said once I get a thousand. Once I get a thousand, then you start getting paid for your videos for okay. for like every like every certain amount of views that you get. Yeah, this is the microphone too. The microphone's for that too. Who's that? So, so this building came in. Oh. Okay. How you doing, Mama? No, they say it's all. They they kicked everybody out of there. They said. It's no. From what I've been told, no. They try to say no. Yeah. Oh. Uh. How you doing, Mama? Another beautiful day. Yeah. Uh, actually, actually, no. I have a YouTube channel, and I was, at, and I'm going around asking people that live in this area about what you guys think about the living conditions, and I'm trying to keep everybody up to date in Maribel about about Birchwood and and um and Hickory Ridge over here. Well, I lived here for 16 years. So if you don't mind me asking, would you be okay with a couple questions? I'll probably go on the other side with the microphone, but yeah. Yeah. I okay. So the best way to ask this is, um, I there's concerns about mold, and and flooding in the apartments, and that's and and um, and the caving in. Was it like that when you first lived here? Uh, I only been gone for like 18 months, but I left because of the. Uh, well, it was mold in my apartment, but yeah. it was also roaches and. Yeah. Please. Oh yeah, I can understand the roaches. I used to, I, bed bugs. Yeah. See, I'm, I live with them. I yeah. live with them for See, over a year or two. I, yeah. I had to go. It was too much for me. Yeah. Matter of fact, I had to throw away some very expensive furniture. Yeah, because well, actually, I'm from Chicago, and I and I understand the cockroach situation. I used to live in an apartment in Chicago, where. Yep. See yep. Yeah, man. Um, you don't mind me asking. What is your name? I don't want to give my name because okay. there's a lot of stuff I want. Okay. Say, I understand. But I, okay, we'll, we'll just call. We'll just make up a name for you. We'll, we'll call you um Jane. Okay, if that's okay. You can call me Miss Rose. 
Yep, that works too. And my name is Rusty, and I'm just trying to keep everybody up to date in the area. Is it going to be a class action lawsuit? That, I've been hearing about that possibly. Um, people are eligible to sue because they're because um, they got kicked out without notice, really, at the last minute. And now, from what I've been, for, actually, I don't know the area too well, but from what I heard, they took they kicked everybody out and they moved them over to um G, the um, the Dina Barber White Center, which is like a affiliate to um YMCA. And they're just asking people in the area if they need any supplies or anything like that. So that's what that's another thing that they've been asking too, if anybody needs supplies to basically donate out and help them out and lead. I've been gone for about eight years. Yeah, I've been living in I've been living in Birchwood for about eight years and we got a lot of the same concerns. Mold, basically flooding whenever it rains. Um one working washer, one working dryer for 48 residents that live in the apartment. I said that's a, another ha hazard too. I'm like, I've been harping on them about getting the washers and dryers fixed. This, this is one place. I moved in here in 05. Yeah. This was beautiful. This was beautiful. Yeah. Yep. I'm just riding now, just looking Yeah. I heard, a, I heard, I also heard, and I don't know how accurate it is. But supposedly a new owner brought it out. But I guess we'll find out if that's true. Yeah. But because but because they're inheriting a mess, so they got a so whoever owned it before left it like this, and now the new owners have to basically fix up everything that the old owner left. I don't think that's right. Yeah. I don't think that's right. Yeah. But but I know for a fact. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Uh, they they picked out the most beautiful apartments. Yeah, because they they sold it to uh, Roco Roco when I was living. Here. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sure who brought it now, but um, but obviously whoever owns it now is gonna inherit a mess because they gotta cut this grass. They gotta basically try to fix this building up. I heard there was a lot of I heard there was a lot of buildings that were abandoned due to the mold. I can show you a video. I can show you a video that I did. Because I'm also a part of the Maribel community group and I told them I would post a video of talking to a few people here and there and there. Sunny. Yeah, no, it's kind of hard to see, but yeah. This is this is. My that's one of the apartments when it was. When it this looked, is my apartment. That's when it looked nicer when you first moved in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I fixed it like that. Yep. But I'm gonna. Understandable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. They had a fire here. Yeah, because I, cause I know, because some of the pictures I saw that somebody were posting in, in the Mirable community were like basically, they were showing like the mold and the garbage not being picked up for days on end. That's another thing too that people had to complain about was that how the garbage was overpiling and how nobody was picking it up. Not in the 18 months that I was there. So. Yeah. But like I said, it's new ownership, so hopefully everything changes over here. These people, surely these people could have inherited it. I can't find it right now. I guess for some. Well, it's understandable. But it, it is of a building around, around yep. the corner, so I want to see if that. That's why I stopped by to see what building it was. Yep. So maybe I'll go around and I'll sit and pull it up. Yep. And then I'll come back around. Yeah, because I'm walking around just asking anybody questions about the property. I said because before, when I, because I've been living in Maribel for eight years, mm -hmm. and I've been at Birchwood for eight years. And when I first moved, Birchwood. Birchwood's down the street over here. You mean across the street? Yeah. And they're and they're, I was looking for an apartment. No, the they're, they're just as bad. 
You had to tell me I had went in and got the application to come out. And I, I don't know what, why I was sitting there so long. And I just saw something that didn't, didn't sit right with yep. me. I said, uh-uh. And then I came across here. The windows were shining. And stuff. Yeah, so it made me come on in. Yep. And, and, and. Yeah, because I've been because I've been in Birch in Birchwood for eight years. Problem is, I want to move, but you know what what money situation as it is now, I can't afford to. So I'm stuck there for right now until I get money saved. And um, and when I first moved in, my rent on my apartment was seven twenty. In eight years, now it's up to eight fifty for just a two bedroom. Yeah. When I first came in. So yeah, I've been, I had the two bathrooms and that's what I, that sold me on that. So Yeah, from what I've been hearing now, I said they raised their rent like really sky high too. For I think I think I I don't know if you guys have the same amount of bedrooms and bathrooms here as Birchwood um as Birchwood does. Birchwood usually has one bathroom, but they usually have one or two bedrooms. Well I came in, like I said I came in and dad he had the bathroom in the in the uh, bedroom, so I love that. So. Yep. So, because so, like for me, because um, because from what I heard over here, the two bed the two bedrooms usually go for thirteen hundred now, and the sink and the one and the one bedrooms go for like eight fifty. That, that, that's that's what I've been hearing now. That's what that's what they were charging. But I'm really surprised about this place because this whole building was redone. Yep, and and this you whole place was redone. And you can see from looking at it that it's starting to fall out. The bricks are starting to fall. Yeah, like in the middle right here, you can see how the how, where that one door is. It's half open, and it looks like the bricks are starting to cut, are starting oh, to fall. Okay. Yeah, you, and you can see that, and you can see that little um, thing up here is starting to tilt a little bit. Well, if the people got renters insurance, the renters should yeah should step in and do something. Get the people yeah. out. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Ain't nothing they can do about that. I know, like I said, like I said, it's kind of. I feel kind of bad for the people that got kicked out because they lost their homes, and now they got to find somewhere else to go. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for the like the um, the health department and, and all the other insurance people to come over to Birchwood and, and kick everybody out. Cause that's gonna happen next. You think so? Yeah. We, that, that, that when um when when the people were over here, they were over there too. There was complaints about Birchwood too. About how they don't fix anything. The only thing, the only thing they do is cut the grass on time. But when it comes to fixing anything, they are slow at it. When my toilet, like when my toilet broke and it stopped working, it took them eight months before they fixed it. And and what was the final straw was when the tank broke and the water leaked out. That should cause some kind of mold or something. It, it, it already has. It started molding a little bit. I'm like, and I told the landlord, I'm like, you gotta fix this stuff. I'm like. Our toilet stopped working back in July, and it took until March of this year for, um, for you to fix it. And y'all didn't tell them? No, we, we were harping on them, and they kept making excuses as to why they couldn't do it. And so what they did is that they sent this maintenance guy out, and I and I don't want to sound like a jerk when I say it, but the maintenance guy is me is Spanish, but he doesn't speak very good English. Okay. He's, he knows a few words here and there in English, but mostly you got to speak to him in Spanish, and I don't know Spanish. Okay. So it was kind of hard for me to translate with him. Because I'm trying to tell him, well, we have a plasterboard above our above our shower that's falling apart, and so what he did is that he cut out a part of the plaster and stuck a plywood board up there and said it was fixed and then walked out. Wow, I'm done today. I'm done. I'm just trying to just ride through and just check it out. Yeah, but but you go ahead. I'm like I'm gonna walk around and see if anybody else is up for asking questions. Okay. Man. Yep. Thank you for your time. That is a lady um, named. That, that was one of the ladies that used to live here. I'm not going to give her name out because she said she wants to keep it private and anonymous. There's a few people here. I'm trying to keep everybody up to date in Maryville, Indiana about Birchwood and, um, and Hickory Ridge. Um, she said she lived here 16 years. She said at the time she moved in, um, there, wasn't, um, a whole, there, there wasn't a whole lot of issues like there was now. But, you know... It's uh, it's come under new ownership, and and you know how people are. They, it basically comes under new ownership and everything. Yeah, people are just coming in and out, but they they won't let anybody into this building where I'm standing in front of because of the barricades. 
like I usually walk around basically trying to get everybody up to date here. Um, there have been complaints about trash not being picked up for days on end. WGN 9 News was here yesterday, and a couple of days before that they had ABC News, um, ABC 7 News. And so the last couple of days they made, they made the, um, they made the news, and Birchwood's just about the same where they got a whole bunch of issues too. So I did talk to a couple of people. One, a um, couple, couple of people said they don't live in this area. They were just visiting. One lady said she, um, the one lady I just got, that I just interviewed, basically said that she lived here for 16 years and she moved out like a year and a half ago, but she was coming to see somebody and seeing what the condition looks like. Um, basically, I can't really go. I can't really go underneath the caution tape. But I'm going to try to get close enough so you can see here. Um, hold on a second. Um, so, on this building here, on this building here where I'm standing at, you can see some of the bricks falling out and how it's starting to cave and crumble. You know, that's not a good sign. And this is the building, these two buildings right here, where everybody got kicked out and they're being housed, and they're being housed right now in the Dana Barber White Center, which is, a, which is an affiliate of YMCA. And you can see all the trash that's on the ground, um, basically. And then there's a lake over here, behind the building. Um, technically, I try to um, get around here. So it makes it easier, and you can see what I'm looking at here. They do got a dead bolt on the door, but that, like you can see how the building is crumbling, but I don't want to get too close. And you know how the grass is over, is over, is um, is over, is overgrowing. So that's another concern for the people here, how they're, how they're not cutting the grass like they're supposed to. And then there's a lake behind the building where the animals basically like geese and ducks and everything just sit there. And Hickory Ridge is the only apartment complex I know of here that has a working operated pool because Birchwood does not. Um. But let's go, but let's go over here. Now we got a, now we got a helicopter flying around our plane. The one of those Cessna planes. I don't live too far from an airport, so you get a lot of helicopters and planes just flying around with like the little Cessna planes and the little helicopters that come around. Arby. Arby. I'm... So I got a few interviews today, but that's about it. Um. I'm looking around, seeing if I can find anybody else over here that's willing to talk. I love one. Yep. So we got, um... So, but I did, like I was saying before, some guy was out here t walking, his do I'm walking a dog, but he said, I asked him if he was willing to, if he was open to asking a couple of questions, but he said he was here visiting his girlfriend, so he, w so he didn't know much about what was going on here. Another guy said that basically he doesn't live over here. He lives in Birchwood like I do, but he has a friend that stays over here. That's why he comes over here. Oh. No, I basically... Yeah, because like the guy was saying, WGN and Channel 9 and then Channel 7 News were over here the other day just taking pictures and basically... Um, you could find um, the YouTube videos of this apartment complex.